guys kd360 from we got game here and today i'm about to look at the next batch of characters being revealed for blaze blue cross tag battle i know i'm late to the party but i'm here now and i'll get the content up as early as i can because if i had waited for keeler to do it it probably would have come out much later but it's okay i'm here now we're gonna react to these characters if you like this stuff, like and subscribe, enable notifications and all that good stuff. We're going to be covering the game all the way up until release. So make sure you check out all our future content for this game. Anyways, let's get to reacting to these characters. All right, I hope I see a Union character that I, that I like today. Please. And I'm pretty sure Yukiko is going to get revealed because you don't do Chie without Yukiko. Oh, here we go. Gordo. Wasn't one of the characters I was looking for, but it's all good. Gordo's still cool. Hey. Alright, who is next? Uh oh. It's Yukiko. See, I told you. There was no way they were going to wait forever and be like, oh, here's Yukiko. Chie without Yukiko just doesn't work in every game that's not that's not just Persona 4 by itself. Oh my god, is that the boy? Unga man? <laughs> Azrael? Oh my god. Wow, I, I didn't think he would make it into this game. I, I kind of wasn't looking for him though. I'm, I'm not going to have him on like my main team, but that's so cool to see Azrael in this game. So far the Blaze Blue, uh, the Blaze Blue side of the roster has been the most unpredictable. Actually, I think the Blaze Blue side of the roster has been the only one that uh, was not predictable to be honest because I was expecting just the regular layout of characters you know like Ragna Jin, Rachel, Lychee, Tager or some crud we got Hazama and Azrael wasn't really expecting that especially not Azrael but that's really cool uh, that's the end of the reaction I will see you guys later make sure to like and subscribe